So for quiz four, number three, we want to find, um, find r sub n and the area underneath the graph on the interval from zero to six. And so this is a parabola shifted down six, six units. So this will be like negative six. And it crosses the x-axis at plus and minus the square root of six-fifths. So it looks something like this. And we're going to go from 0 to 6 of the area underneath the curve. Okay, so, um, so when we do this, we've, we're going to use r sub n, which is equal to delta x times the sum for i equal um, 1 to n of f of a plus i delta x. Okay, so when we're doing this, the first thing we need to do is come up with delta x, which is equal to b minus a over n. So b minus a over n, and in this case, since we're going from 0 to 6, we're going to um, have this be 6 over n. Okay, and then we have a plus i delta x is going to equal 0 plus i times 6 over n, or just 6i over n. That means f of a plus i delta x is equal to um, 5 times 6i over n quantity squared minus 6. Okay, and we can square this out, so that's equal to 5 times 36i squared all over n squared minus 6. Okay, now this is what we're going to plug into our summation formula up here. So now we know that r sub n is equal to 6 over n times the sum of i equal 1 to n of um, this right here. Uh, 36 times 5 is, is 180. So that's 180i squared over n squared minus 6. Okay, all of this we're summing. So we're going to use linearity rules to break these up and to pull out um, constants and then apply power rules. Okay, so in our quiz, they want you to not plug in this. They want you to remove the sigma notation by, ev by evaluating um, <clears throat> this sum using our power sum formulas. For example, we're going to use, we're going to end up using the sum of i squared for i equals 0 to n, which is equal to, uh, let's see, n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 all over 6 and then we're also going to use the sum of i equals 0 to n of some constant k which is going to equal k times n okay so we're going to come over here and we have 6 over n times the sum of 180i squared over n squared minus 6 over n times the sum of 6. And both of these are going to be i equal 1 to n. And i equal 1 to n. And just so you know, I made a small little mistake over here. This should be i equal 1 to n. Okay? So, in the summation, 180 over n squared is a constant because i is the only thing changing. So we can bring that out. 
This here is a constant, so we can immediately apply, since k is equal to 6, this summation is going to be 6n. So we have 6 over n times 180 over n squared times the sum i equal 1 to n of i squared minus 6 over n times 6n. So the neat thing here is these n's will cancel and we're left with 36. I'm going to leave this 6 here for a second because we're going to have a 6 in the denominator for the i squared term. So this term is going to be n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 all over, n, uh, all over 6. And we're going to multiply that by 6 times 180 over n cubed minus 36. Okay, so this 6 and this 6 is going to cancel. And then we're going to have an n cubed. And if we FOIL this all out, um, we get an n squared plus n from these two terms. And now we can FOIL these two terms. And we get a 2n cubed. We're going to get 2n squared here and a 1n squared here. So plus 3n squared plus n all over n cubed and that's 180 times all of this minus 36 okay now each one of these terms can be broken up so that um, we can break this up into three summations or just simplify it so that we can watch the n cubes cancel. So this one ends up being 2 times n cubed over n cubed plus 3 times n squared over n cubed plus um, n over n cubed minus, and this is 36, so minus 36. Okay, now this is just 1, so we have 2 times 1. This is 1, and we have 1n left over in the denominator. The numerator here is 1, and we have 2n's left over in the denominator there. So um, that means, let's see if I flip over my paper, r sub n is then going to equal 180 times um, 2 plus 1 uh, plus 3 over n plus 1 over n squared minus 36. Okay, now if, so this is what our, our n would be, but if we take the limit as n approaches infinity of r sub n, we'll actually get the area underneath the curve. And that's going to equal the limit as n approaches infinity of 180 times 2 plus 3 over n plus 1 over n squared minus 36. Um, so as n goes off into infinity, this term right here goes to 0 because 3 stays, n grows huge and 1 over n squared also goes to 0. So we have 360 minus 36. Um, and of course, I don't have my calculator right here, so I will do some quick math. 324. So 324 is the area underneath the curve.